Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called The Death of Dick Long. This is a 2019 film, but it says right on here on the website I'm on that this is going to be released in Japan in August of 2020. So this is still going to be making its rounds. So I'm really first on one on this. There have been only been uh, 3,300 grades on this website that I'm on. So this is pretty much a brand new movie. So you might want to go seek it out. I'll just put that out there right away. This is rated R. It runs an hour and 40 minutes. It stars Michael Abbott Jr., Virginia Newcomb, and Andre Highland. The description, Dick died last night, and Zeke and Earl don't want anybody finding out how. That's too bad, though, because news travels fast in small-town Alabama. This is The Death of Dick Long. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching this video. I expect this video to get some views once this movie actually gets released and people know about it. But I feel like it's a relatively new one right now that people can't find, so that's understandable. Um, but this is a 2020 film for the most part of things, you know, and so I'm going to talk about it like it's new. Um, I was really happy to see this last night uh, once I found out about kind of what its details are, uh, what the movie was about, and uh, I thought it had a nice premise, a nice thought of a movie. I don't know if they carried it out so great, but... I knew it was going to be in Alabama, so I didn't expect much. Um, this is for lack of a, you know, of a better way to describe it, a dumb criminal movie. And we like those kind of things. You know, sometimes those are Hollywood ideas, you know. And, uh, you know, if you can come up with an example, put in the comments. But I, I know it happens every once in a while. Melissa McCarthy has played a dumb criminal before, I'm sure. Um, so, this is a lower budget, obviously, not a big time thing, not a big time, not any big time names in the movie, but, uh, it's, it's a nice carried out thought. Um, so, what I was expecting when I heard the death of, and people trying to cover it up, and small town finding out about it, um, none of that stuff really happens. Like, the the actual movie plot is friends hanging out, something bad happens, they leave him at the hospital, and you find this all out in the first five minutes, and then they try to cover it up because they don't want anybody knowing about it, and it's not really a small town because only like six people that are close to them or the cops actually are even involved with the cover up. So I don't really like that, that description that they came up with. Um, it might matter a tiny bit that it's in Alabama, but only because of the non competency of the cops which they are just ridiculous and but they were like my favorite part of the movie um so we'll start talking about them because that's kind of the next step in this uh gradual process of this movie is that the cops that are involved with this are i guess the sheriff i don't know they don't really ever call her that like this movie doesn't make uh, this does, this movie is not concerned about the details. I'll say that. And so our main cop in charge is like a 70-year-old woman that walks around with a cane. <laughs> and so her sidekick on this case is a rookie woman that is like 300 pounds. Let's just say that. So her competency is in question. And it makes for a hysterical movie for the cops trying to figure out anything. And they really don't. You know, like, it's just the dumb criminals that kind of release information as they go. 
And uh, I don't think that's saying too much about this movie because, like, there's a lot of things along the way that I haven't said anything about, and it's going to be a surprise to you. But I'm just telling you that the cops try to play a part in this movie, but they don't really do anything. So it's just really funny. So that's the next point, is that the acting, uh, we'll call it that, but uh, is not acting, okay? It's just people being dumb and or dealing with drama. And I, I guess they deal with the drama fine, especially when there's a kid involved. But otherwise... Like, they're just reacting how I think any normal human being would act in the situation. So, um, the real point of this movie, and I'm going to say this as generically as I can, okay? I'm not going to give away the whole horse and carriage, but there is one really big reveal in this movie. And when it comes, it is so freaking funny. Like, you won't even be able to, like, comprehend what's going on for a minute. I seriously, like, I think I missed the next three minutes because I was just laughing so hard. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't fathom it in my brain. That that's the twist of this movie. Like, that's the only thing that we are waiting to find out. Is what happened to Dick Long. That's the name of the movie, right? The Death of Dick Long. So, everything else that's stupid in this movie is funny. The release of that information is hilarious. It got me. It'll always get me. Oh, man. But, um, so that's really the biggest thing that it has to offer, other than the mystery and intrigue and comedy. And maybe a little bit of drama, but not much. Um, so, is it worth a rewatch? I don't think so. I hope everybody out there gets a chance to watch it, because A, it's a new movie, B, it's still coming out in certain places, C, it's really funny, it's intriguing, all this stuff, it's great. Um, I think it's one of those movies that you watch once and you're like, oh my gosh, that just like hurt my brain, but I was laughing the whole time and that's going to be good enough for you. So that's me being bluntly honest about it. And, uh, I think I'm going to give the death of Dick, Dick Long a B. I think it is up there. I think it's worthy of having stupid humor that it's worth watching, that it's worth recommending. It's just not worth owning and watching over and over again, especially when you know the big twist and it messes up your brain. That's enough for me is one time of being messed up. So I hope eventually I can get the image of this movie out of my head, but that probably won't happen. But that's enough for me is to watch it once. So a B for the death of Dick Long. Thanks, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy movies. Thanks.